Okay, so here we go. Our last proper mission in Tomb Raider Legend. There is one more after this, but that's basically the end of the game. So this is our first thing before this that. Is brilliant. King Arthur was real. The Knights of the Round Table were real. And now we have Excalibur right here in front of us. Those stodgy bastards at Oxford will have kittens when they hear of this. It's even bigger than that, Alistair. What Arthur called Excalibur is a powerful artifact that predates him by millennia. Well, it's still in pieces. Who brought the super good? While I was in Ghana, I asked you to look around for the Galali key. No luck, I take it? It was not among your father's collection. Or his records. It wasn't in Ghana either. Or Rutland was... Hello? What's this? I've seen you before, haven't I? Hang on. A striking resemblance, don't you think? The pendant was a gift from your father. I never knew from where he had obtained it, until now. Where is it now? It's in the Himalayas. My mother had it with her. Zip, Alistair, I'm going to Nepal. Please make the usual arrangements. We'll take care of it. Come on, man. Not to presume, Lady Croft, but I'd hoped you wouldn't try to use the sword yourself after what happened to your mother. She removed the sword. That's what killed her. I don't intend to do the same. If my father had known any of this, he tried so hard, and they hated him for it. No one hated him, Lara. It bloody well wasn't love, was it? His reputation was destroyed. Now there's more than one thing to be salvaged from that mountain top. And so we need to head to Nepal, the site of the crash that killed that in which Lara's mother died so so long ago. The wreckage should be just on the other side. I can't see anything. You sure you're in the right spot? Pretty much. I never forget a face. Now I don't know why the camera starts facing Lara, but there we go. Oh, come now, is it? I have done this before, you know. Exactly. Not quite there, I would assume, because otherwise it wouldn't... That kind of stone does not grow back, unfortunately, Lara. Now, I think it's kind of become slight tradition that Lara must go to some sort of snowy, icy area at some point in her journey. Um, it's just a really cool effect um, to have, especially when exploring. I mean, even the reboot has a snowy-ish area, which is just quite cool. Um, now, there are some particularly nasty moments in this mission that you're going to want to watch out for. The first one is uh, this right here. You've got to jump very quickly from these icicles and uh, not die. Um, also, there's a really sneakily hidden artifact hidden over here. I don't know why you would come and look over here. I guess it's because there's a little open bit that looks like it might house a secret. Um, but, oh well. Also, my god, that white is blinding. Back down and up somewhere else. There's always a way through, Zip. Always. There it is. Man, that's a wreck. Owl? Baker, none. Something like that. Now, what is perhaps the most frustrating part of this level is getting an, the next artifact. Um. So to get the next artifact, you need to get over here, which is somewhat easy enough. But then you need to jump over here. Now, jumping to that is not necessarily the problem. Jumping back, however, is slightly more difficult. 
because Lara just doesn't seem to want to grapple onto the uh, thing. But oh well. That's one of Rutland's. I told Made it there eventually. And here he is following me to the ends of the earth. Maybe he heard you wrong. You think he's in there? I doubt it. Not when he could be at home with his feet up. Now, yeah, I um didn't do particularly smoothly on this particular mission. Lots of me being clumsy, um, but we've got a snow leopard here to uh, take down. No different from standard leopards, really, but still. I knew it then, and I know it now. I'll be fine, Zip. Don't worry. Exactly. Um, and now, be careful with that jump as well, because it's very easy to fall down. And in fact, that's what I um, did the last time. Damn bloody large jumps. Now, what you need to do here is stand on the wreckage and... Uh, Yes, Zip, I understand that, but, um... Either way, um, this is slightly dodgy, um, but, I mean, basically, you cannot move any further along the, uh, wreckage than this, otherwise it will fall off with you in it. So be very, very careful. Typical that it has to decide it's going to crash now, even after we looked after it so well. And if I recall correctly, that's the last quick time event of the game. Don't quote me on that, but yeah. This has always been what it's about. Now there's one more place I'd like to visit. It shouldn't take too long. So after we uh, have collected the Galali key, it's, it's time to go and. Uh... Well, I'm sure you can figure out exactly where we're going. We're going to uh, the site where Lara's mother died. See if we can find any clues. Now, the Galali key um, is interesting, um, just because obviously it uh, is meant to put the swords back together. Um, but basically, apparently, it was a gift to Amelia Croft from her husband um, to replace. Pendant that she lost in Ghana. So the pendant that she picked up, that Lara picked up in Ghana, um, was the first one that she had before she was given the Galali key. Um, I'm just trying to find out uh, where the word Galali comes from because that's just quite a unique word. Um. But no, it, it, okay, it just seems to, uh, be sort of made up. Somewhat. Always like a last name or something. How odd. That's really bizarre. Sorry, I was just getting... I like looking at etymologies of things, and it's, it's why you've seen me do so many this is what this name means things. Because it's just something I quite enjoy. It's why I, I do English. It's because I like looking at things and what they mean, and 
words. I like words. <laughs> but right there we have our gold artifact, so uh This is quite a relatively short chapter. Um Oh, come now, Alistair. We've done worse, you know? And I really do mean we've done worse. I mean, that particular jump is far worse. And over here, we have enemies. Look at the little termites mucking it all up again. Just can't get away from the bleeding... Sods. Thankfully, they're not too difficult to uh, take down. They're literally just kind of standing here in a big, large open area, just waiting to be killed. Grenade launcher guy, most of all, because he's just kind of not really doing a lot up there. There is one more person that you're going to want to watch out for who's on the roof. Not that he is particularly visible. Um, I just forget he's there generally. Shows you how inefficient he is at being effective. Redundancies much there. Oh well. You know, this is the type of um, snowy ice level that I enjoy playing because you get the wonderful visuals of the snow and the ice, but none of the hideous physics that generally fit into these types of levels. It, it's just insane how many annoying ice levels there are in video games, and it could be fixed quite simply by just making it a snow level and not an ice level. I mean, I know in platformers you need some sort of challenge, and that is one such method of creating challenge, um, but either way. Now, something that does ever so slightly confuse me is how Lara managed to traverse um, all of this when she was like eight or nine. Um, and her mother, especially when her mother was in that um, dress suit thing. Because these don't look like the type of things to be able to uh, progress through. Well, now we can! Just, well, because I mean, technically, by walking on ice, you are walking on water, because ice is just frozen water. Um, I have no idea what that ledge over there is for. I'm assuming it's just to trick you. Because um, where you need to go is through here. Lovely zip. That's quite enough of that. Sorry. Now, this particular room is quite horrible, because it's very, very, very easy to fall into that. My bones have gone numb. Oh my god, it is so very cold. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Um, and then once you get that artifact, you kind of have to just sit and wait before you can, um, get on to one of the ice things to get across. It's slightly annoying. I, I dislike waiting in my video games. Um, as I think I've said before, I'm relatively impatient. Um, and thank god we're out of there, because that could have just ended really badly. But thankfully Lara's okay now. Um, however, there is a snow leopard up at the top of these stairs, so uh, just be warned. Get your guns at the ready. Because it's going to pounce. Thankfully there's only one of them 
up here at the minute. Indeed, because I, I, I think she would probably struggle quite a lot, considering the last time she came was when she was eight or nine. Actually, no, she's, I think she came before then. Maybe. I don't know. Depends. Anyway, this is the final room of uh, the level. Um, what you're looking for is a, uh, for this next artifact, is a thing with a crack in it. Um, I'm being really, really dense. Just as I was when I first played the game, because I remember doing this exact same thing. Um, because what you're looking for is the, uh, little tapestry thing on the wall that's just after you come down the stairs. I'm quite blind and really need to uh, improve my uh, optical skills when I'm doing these things. But now we get to do a very cool swing all the way across the gap. It's, it's quite a nice batch of swinging really. And considering this is the final level in the game, I'm surprised that it's not as difficult as it could be. I mean, this level could be seriously harder. But for some bizarre reason, it's not. In fact, even though I did die quite frequently on it, some of it was just due to being clumsy, some of it was due to glitchy stuff, um, I'm just surprised that... Uh, there are more challenging bits of the game than this particular mission. I don't know why. I guess it's just because at this point you have become accustomed, or at least you should have become accustomed, to how Lara moves and all of the gameplay mechanics, so you can make up for some of its inconsistencies. Well, not really inconsistencies, but you can kind of make up for the game and how it works so you, you can do stuff. But that is every single artifact in the game collected, so uh, all that's left to do is finish the story now. Um, so the first job that we have to do is this puzzle. which is a little bit of a mind-bender, ever so slightly. Not really, but a little bit. Um, what you've got to do is you want to get that big block up onto the top. Um, so you've just got to figure out how you are going to do that. Now, one thing that I haven't discussed in this walkthrough so far is the time trials. Basically, once you've beaten a level for the first time, you can go and do it in a time trial. Uh, so, get through it as quickly as possible. Um, if you manage to complete that time trial, then you basically get an extra costume for Lara, and... Uh, some achievements, and so on and so forth. So now we are... Well, I'm not going to do the time trials because they do take... It's obviously playing through the game again, and I would prefer to show you getting all of the artifacts over speedrunning the chapters. Um, also, well, I, I guess I could, I could manage to beat the time trial if I desperately wanted to. But I think I will just stick to doing this how I'm doing it. Either way, now that we have um, done that, we can get this uh, golden block with butter on it. I believe it's butter. I might be completely wrong as to what religion I'm dealing with here. But every object oh well. has a symbolic function. If only the outside world were the same. Indeed. Symbolism is so useful sometimes. Uh, 
And here we go, the site where it happened all those years ago. Give me a moment, please. Oh, that's not all it does. Now, I tried to make this look cool before we did our first swing with Excalibur. Um, but I decided I went the wrong way. Um, but yes, Excalibur does this mighty beam of... Uh, green light. Um, it's essentially what Takamoto and uh, Rutland were doing, but this is much more powerful and much more badass. And you know how I said, don't trust me with, or don't take my word for it when that was the last quick time event? Yeah. Here's another one. Be careful, because this could end quite badly. But there you go, that was your last kind of quick timey eventy thingy. We're going back to Bolivia. Yep. Then we'll see. So we have one last place to go to. Back to Bolivia. This is gonna be awesome.